The primary feature of note will be at the active region on the south, near the center, pop with a flash. This was an M-class solar flare released from the Earth-facing group on the south, no doubt of its origin in 131 angstroms. You will see the destabilization event inside the core of the active region, breaking out only the central umbral fields that destabilized, meanwhile bigger flares would have broken them all. But as it is, M1.1. It's a small solar flare and small CME which looks to mostly be missing Earth on SOHO, but on Stereo A it is a bit clearer that some of the ejecta should be heading our way as well. The ejecta isn't strong and geomagnetic effects will be minor, if at all. This is the junior varsity version of the bigger X-class flares we can look forward to over the coming years. Interestingly, the top shake of the day ruptured during that solar flare. The six-pointer struck the active region of Sinabung, could be more volcanic activity coming to the area. Top science news in the rest of the world is the Mars helicopter. They say it flew for about 30 to 40 seconds. See the video at the link below and not to disparage the world's interest, but there is much more to be had from the last day, starting with one that most of the climate science world will want to forget as quickly as possible. The overestimation of permafrost, including the scary things you've heard when so much of it melts, is beyond acceptable. That's as nice as I can say it. Here they identify the major goof in the field and lay the path to fix it. Interesting paper on the Hiawatha Impact Crater. You will not even get through the abstract before you realize how conflicted the scientists are. There's tons of evidence that it is a very recent impact. There's also tons of evidence it's slammed into ice-free conditions in Greenland. They dance across those boundaries here in their hypotheses, but observers should immediately recall that we got two different studies the last month on the shock discovery of recent ice-free conditions in Greenland. See how close they are to putting these things together and ending the story once and for all? Heading over to the waviness of the jet streams. If you've been watching for years, if you have any of the three editions of our textbook, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, or if you have studied the climate forcing playlist, you know that the waviness of the jet stream is something to watch and to expect to increase under both the workings of weaker solar activity and the weakening magnetic field of Earth. AGU confirming here. Excellent one here declaring that the era of earthquake forecasting is afoot. This isn't something veteran observers don't know, but it's always great to see the massive list of the field growing. It's a great time to get to know our website, quakewatch.net, if you don't know it yet. And we've got huge news and earthquake prediction coming up in just a couple of days. Folks, I noticed that one of our past sponsors is running an excellent deal today, for those who don't know. CBD is not the get you high cannabis, this is the medicine pulled out, the one the government patented for numerous uses 30 years ago, including against degenerative brain disease. And no, they didn't pay me for this today, I just see what's happening to brains around the world and figured I'd try to help. Last but not least, the latest update to the AMO. Sort of. The Atlantic Multidecado Oscillation is a regular alternating force in the North Atlantic that helps drive a lot of the underlying climate over those long periods. I said sort of because they only have it up to 2005. But that's still enough to add the 16 years since then in your head and realize that the heat releasing oscillation is about to switch off in the coming years and favor the cold. By itself, this means very little, but the sun has exited grand solar maximum of the latter 1900s. Major VEI 6 and 7 volcanic eruptions are now well overdue. Cosmic ray cooling via cloud albedo will increase over the coming years, and the melting polar ice is continuing to shut down the overturning circulation and the major heat transporting currents. It's going to be a fun decade.